Hey everybody, Tony D and Little Joan here with a final video of this evening. Sorry, I'm just not feeling the news today. You know, there's a lot of little things going on. I think I caught most of them in the headlines. And, uh, yeah, you know, some days you just need to set it aside. And they are making movies. They are making movies. I don't know where they're playing, but they're making them. This one is an interesting movie called The Body Brokers. Um, the premise is... This guy uh, gets recruited. He's he's an addict, him and his girlfriend. And uh, they are recruited by uh, Omar from, uh, remember him? He was from, uh, what the hell was it? Homicide. No, not Homicide. Uh, God, The Wire. Omar from The Wire, right? He recruits them. He recruits at least him. To go to rehab and he goes and he finds out that the rehab center is a scam kind of not really they rehab people but they're getting government money to do it because of the Affordable Care Act so they're getting paid and it's a bit of a gold rush see you got this thing so they're getting paid and the drug addicts are getting paid to go into rehab. So that can't be legal, right? That's got to be a scam. But he actually recovers, and some people do, as they say in the movie. But he decides to get in on it, and so they bring him in as another recruiter. And here's Omar showing him around. This guy's recruiting over the phone, and, you know, he sees all the money. But his girlfriend, you know, is still back and, you know, still still doing bad things, I guess. And uh, I don't know. The, this guy, and, and it's a whole scam where, like, the addicts sign up and they get, they get a kickback, but they end up going back on the street to do drugs. And so, obviously, I think you know where this is going. Obviously, you know, here's his girlfriend. No, this is his girlfriend. I confused her with the other woman. And so she's still a drug addict. And in some ways... I think what the movie will probably say is she's more honest than he is. She's she's at least an honest addict, whereas he's sort of exploiting his own kind. Frank Grillo Grillo is the is the lead lead guy. I don't know who he is. Um, and Omar is is you know helping him, and it's called the Body Brokers. Apparently, they they end up burying somebody in the desert or whatever. But the Body Brokers because they just want bodies in there and and. This guy on the phone, he just made $9,000 in three minutes, Omar tells him. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so this looks cool. Uh, written and directed by John Swab. I like this because it's about a new kind of scam that I've never heard of. And um, so, yeah, that's, that's an interesting scam. See, like, unlike the other one <laughs> where... The I felt like the main character... I keep going back to this movie. I care a lot. The main character was scamming old people and putting them in homes and like t taking away all their money in their houses and stuff and selling them out from under them. Uh, this one, yes, he is exploiting his own kind, but he's clearly troubled by that, whereas the other character didn't seem troubled at all. It, it, was, it was like it was a fun movie that she was doing that. Again, you got to... You gotta have your character in an alignment that is morally sound, or people won't like him. See, I like this character because he, although he gets in on this this scam to help people, and he's a young kid, so he tells himself, "Yeah, well, I'm still helping people, but I'm making money." I can see that from his reaction, he's troubled, and it, it even Omar at one point in the trailer says to him, "I've never seen somebody so miserable counting money." So he's got, he's being torn, like, I'm making all this money, but am I really helping these people? See, he questions it. And you can forgive him for getting involved because he's young and he doesn't under, you know, and he was an addict. So he gets involved thinking he's doing something good or at least improving his own life. But, you know, the longer he's in, the more he starts to go, hmm, maybe I'm not doing something good. Whereas the other character, it wasn't so much about her getting out of scamming old people or that she was in on it for reasons like him, it was more like she just does it and makes a lot of money. And then people want to kill her for it. 
And it's like, that's, that's, uh, it's not justified in real life, but it's movie justification, right? And it doesn't, it doesn't work for, in my view, for the audience. Whereas this does, because I feel for the kid, he was an addict. And it gets sort of sucked in to, by these guys who are scamming the government, essentially. See, Joan agrees with me. Right, Joan? Right, Joan? All right. I'll get. I'll let you off the seat. Gosh, she is wound up tonight. We didn't go walkies because it was too cold. Just too damn cold tonight. All right, that's it for me and Joan. We'll see you tomorrow.